A touch of Hollywood in Weil am Rhein in the southwest corner of Germany. It isn't a replica, but an actual film prop. R2-D2, the famous Star Wars robot, is now one of the highlights at the Vitra Design Museum's Hello Robot exhibition. Hello Robot tells the story of the approach by humans to this weird species. It raises the issue of how mankind plans to interact with new technologies in general and what kinds of relationships we want to establish with them. So what about our mechanical companions? How do they want to befriend humans? Some visitors appear optimistic. This head massage robot by concept artist Alexander Reben seems to be proving a hit. This is about intimacy and technology. And I wanted to create something people can experience in a gallery museum setting where you can't really, say, experience a, a, a sexual intimacy, but you can experience a different type of intimacy. So the top of your head is a place where strangers don't usually touch you. And who would argue with that? But for even more intimacy, there are robotic sex toys in the pipeline. Or this eerie vision, a bottle feeder robot. The Tamagotchi might be history, just like Sony's robot dog. But robot pets have come a long way since then. They can get frightened or demand some loving attention. Paro is a favorite with curator Amelie Klein. Paro is a robotic seal. It's proven to be extremely useful in caring for people with dementia or Alzheimer's. Amusing? Hmm. Spooky, perhaps? Or just practical? The patients resume contact with their surroundings and come out of the fog they're trapped in. In the video for Björk's All is Full of Love, the robot shows real human warmth. The idea that one day we will no longer be able to differentiate between cold machinery and a living being that can display reasoning is still one that scares us. In a way, we're all waiting for robots. The humanoid that comes around the corner and looks like you and me. One with eyes, one that can speak and move like a human being. But that just isn't realistic. The exhibition shows that algorithms do not need a human-like form made of metal to influence our lives. Robot programs can already do that via social media and smartphones. So, what have visitors to the museum learned about encounters with robots? I personally believe in the miracle of humankind. It might sound dramatic, but we are infinitely complex beings. We cannot be copied. I simply don't believe we're capable of achieving that. R2-D2 is a long way from resembling a human, but he does have a lovable character and is one of many robots you can meet at the Hello Robot exhibition.